going to battle against the best players in the world. There was no way I was going to let a boy beat me. You have your love taken away. I needed a break from basketball. I'm so excited to get to work. I just really love to win a WNBL championship. I'm Tess Madgen. I'm a combo guard for the Melbourne Boomers and the Australian Opals. I started playing when I was seven and I'm from a small country town in the Barossa Valley. My older brother Ben and my older sister Carly played a lot of sports growing up but I used to go watch Ben play basketball and I thought it was looked like a really fun sport to do and when I was seven um, I started playing. Growing up with two brothers really um, I guess enhanced my competitive nature and there was no way I was going to let a boy beat me out on the court. Yeah, so when I initially did my ACL in Poland, you just focus on what you can control and that is getting back to the level you were before you injured your knee. But um, obviously that takes a whole year. Um, you have your love taken away from you. I had my job because basketball is my job. Um, and then you're not seeing your, you know, your closest friends every day, which is one of the things I love about basketball. So you feel very isolated, um, but there's always things that you can control. So for me, that was working every day on my rehab. Um, and I also completed my first university degree which probably wouldn't have happened if I didn't hurt my knee. Um, I needed a break from basketball uh, mentally. I was pretty um, mentally fatigued after playing professionally for so long. And, you know, I just missed out on the Rio Olympics the season before that. So it was a great opportunity to refresh mentally, physically and emotionally from basketball. And then when I came back, um, I just loved it even more than I ever had. To be an Olympian, I think, is every person that loves sport, every child's goal when they're growing up. I know when I was little, I got to watch the Sydney Olympics, the Home Olympics, and that really ignited my, I guess, my dream to one day be in their footsteps. So yeah, I'm super stoked that it has happened. I knew if I worked really hard, I would give myself a really good shot of making the team. The thing I'm looking forward to most is getting out on court with the other 11 of my teammates and going to battle against the best players in the world. I think any time in any sport you pull on the green and gold, you just go to another level. I guess it's just like innate that you want to do anything you can to represent your country with pride and give it your best effort. So when you pull on the green and gold, um, everyone kind of has that mindset. And then when you can come together as a collective with that in mind, that everyone is going to do whatever they can and perform at their best and have each other's back, it just automatically generates such an amazing culture. The goals I would like to achieve before I retire are winning a WNBL championship. Growing up, I wanted to play in the WNBL, play in Europe, play in the WNBA, go to a World Cup and go to an Olympic. So I've done all of those. And now as a team, I'd just really love to win a WNBL championship. Imagine, looks to get open. Magrigore to tie it up. Can't make it count. George back out to Garrick. She misses as well. Townsville hang on, they're off to the ground final. In the most dramatic of yeah, so guys probably had the biggest impact on my game as a coach. Being reunited with him last season, I just, you know, realised why I love being coached by him so much. He leaves no stone unturned in um, getting his individual players ready, but then the team ready to compete, game in, game out. And I always feel so confident and capable when he's my coach. Sorry, you know much. <laughs> the club and Guy have put together a great team um, this season, a very exciting team, um, you know, full of skill, talent, and I think the right characteristics that you need 
to have a winning team. I'm so excited to get to work with this team that they have put together to hopefully create something special, not only for Guy, but for the club as a whole. We've won one championship, I think, in 30-something years, so it'll be amazing for everybody involved.